All right, why are so many cities implementing bike lanes? I'm in the lane they have for me right now. I left arms out, I'm taking a left. So I'm in a marking in the middle of the road into an actual lane. First of all, where are we? Right now we're in Boston, Mass. This is uh, Jamaica Plain, one of the neighborhoods in Boston. So you know you have a reference. Uh, back to the original topic. Why are so many cities implementing bike lanes? First off, I think the broader topic of, you know, who's the city for? Who are the streets for? Is it for the residents or is it for, here we have a green light. We'll get back to that. With the lanes and this person's going right. See, there's a classic case right there. Right there. I was well within, they didn't even look at all. Um, so who's the city for? Is it, does it need to be optimized for those that commute to it or through it? Or is the city for the people that actually live there? I think that's a kind of big question that is heavily connected to bike lanes. So that, my own take is for the people that live there, but you gotta, you know, you have to be reasonable with all participants in the ecosystem. But it's for the people that live there. Um, so there's that. Here we're at a red light where I do have the pedestrian signal in my favor. It was, briefly. Um, opted to just sit tight here. So you have that. All right, another one is uh, examples. We've personally been, our family, our small family, Montreal, and we've seen uh, cycling lanes and they work. And you can see how they're set up too. Kind of like the one we're on right now where, you know, it's separated away from traffic. They even have it more so where it's almost like, um, it's kind of like where there's, there's two sidewalks, I guess is one way to explain it. Like they're both away from the cars. Uh, and they do, they use a lot of two-way lanes as well, which I personally do like as a side tidbit. Uh, so France, or Paris, I'm sorry, uh, France in general possibly. You know, Copenhagen, there's been a lot of success stories. So I think, you know, people would be eventually saying hey maybe we should look at that uh, so there's that so you know who's the city for uh, does this stuff work you know can it work are there examples those are two I would say and then you know obviously safety uh, right outside the VA we're on Huntington in JP that's the VA hospital so obviously safety in this example here these are not like firm barriers that are gonna stop a vehicle, but they're there and they provide, you know, what they're intended for. But you've got, the parking is also provided, but the lane itself is, you know, you're, you're separated from heavy collisions, um, which to me is the biggest safety factor is like, does the lane or path or trail or whatever, does it physically separate you from you know the any kind of a legitimate likelihood of colliding with another vehicle car and then of course you have risks with the bikes and scooters those are always going to be risks in with or without lanes so safety uh you know without a doubt people are looking at safety getting the lanes such that okay, now we're in a lane okay and you just saw the trolley there I'll, uh, in this crosswalk, we'll do a little turn around here. I don't have anyone to the right, I already checked. Um, there's the Heath Street trolley, green line. So to the point of safety, we've got a train, a trolley that literally travels in the road still. And that's crossing bike lanes and pedestrians and so forth. So there's tons of safety things to consider. Bikes hitting other people bikes causing accidents by not following the rules um, or having you know a place to actually ride and then you get more you know super aggressive behavior 
um, you know, and all of the above. So, safety, who lives there? Does it work elsewhere? And then I would say convenience. I'm gonna show you right here, because that was feeling real comfortable and convenient. Now I know, I've, you know, I've biked this a zillion times, but now I'm treachering off into, you know, tougher waters here. Um, we'll go through it a little, because I'll show you the difference here. Um, you can see now there's a, a marking just saying, you know, cycling here. But look to the left, those are train tracks. That's the actual tracks for the trolley. You can get your uh, tire stuck in there. It's happened to me. It wasn't stuck, you know, permanently, but it got in there. I had to yank it out with my hand, put my right arm behind me. Uh, so, you know, convenience and lifestyle. If people want it, they want it. What are you gonna do? You know, if they want it, they want it. Um, Especially if they get out and do it, enjoy it, and you want to uh, end up cycling more. So maybe that helps. Check out the other videos, all the routes, safe zones, all of that. Tons of stuff in there.